Epilogue Nibbana is inherent within the realm of human existence, but it is not something specifically human. Nibbana cannot be found in the elements of earth, water, fire, or air, or in anything of the physical world. Figuratively, we may say that Nibbana is a place of absolute freedom, but in truth, Nibbana is a natural principle inherent within all of us. It has no physical characteristics whatsoever. The five senses cannot know it. Philosophy cannot reveal it. Science cannot verify it. Even extensive study of the Buddha's teaching cannot reach Nibbana unless the teaching is diligently put into practice. Only by practicing Buddhist meditation can the heart make the adjustments needed to realize Nibbana. All of the many past Buddhas and their countless Arahant disciples did just that, allowing the truth to arise unequivocally within their hearts. So, if you want to resolve doubts about the ultimate consequences of your actions, you must resolve them internally by practicing meditation until you clearly realize the truth of these things for yourself. Even doubts that have plagued you for your whole life will dissipate in a flash at the moment that realization occurs. Even perpetual darkness turns to brightness the moment a light is turned on. The truth of the Buddha's teaching will be revealed to those who truly practice his teaching with diligence and an unwavering determination to discover the truth. In order to fully realize the truth about their own nature and about the nature of Tamma, seekers of the way must strive to become spiritual warriors on the path to liberation. Their hearts need to have a firm resolve that can boldly stand up to their internal enemies, finding the strength of will to fight with all their might without becoming weak or disheartened, and without retreating when the struggle becomes difficult. When this kind of fighting spirit is exhibited in the pursuit of Tamma, then time and place are not relevant to their quest for the truth. Regardless of whether it is in the Buddha's age or our present age, Nibbana can always be attained by those who earnestly follow the way with diligence, because the true Tamma always exists in the present moment, the timeless present, here and now.